Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Neo 2 on the Series JT. I'm still a little annoyed that we lost that green loot drop. It could have been something really good. It could have been something that was, oh, green text, but it's not an item we'll ever use. We'll never really know now. Um, but I got to... I gotta get over to that area and finish exploring because I'm pretty sure there's a Kadama over there. So the smart way to do this is gonna be to take it a little slower and to get that um, hopping, uh, like that, that weird pogo stick uh, one-eyed guy. Yeah, we gotta kill him first. This is not the way to do that. Okay. Kind of happened over here as I was trying to sneak up and get him one at a time. I did not succeed in that. Take another crack at this. Yeah, I'm not getting cool. I got Sudama in that CK, but I'm not getting the cool... There's some other red blob here, red spot. I'm hoping it's on a different height or something. Yeah, so much simpler that time, but no green drop rewards. But we do get a Kadama. Which I was pretty... Yeah, I knew we had to come way down low to get this Kadama. I think that's the one I saw from some uh, height earlier on. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's another one lurking around down here. But I think that's it, and I think we're ready to... Well, I feel ready to make some progress, but there's something else. <sighs> there's something else we missed. There was a door locked by a key, which feels like it would be mandatory for you to open. I guess that one always hangs from above because it, it drops down and surprises you if you weren't. Okay, so as silly as it looks, it is actually where it's supposed to be in those other locations. Like when I when I see it from above and it drops down, it is supposed to be hanging from from there. It just looks weird. Seems like it would have been a good place to have something hidden. And maybe there actually was, and I already got it. And That's why there's nothing in here now. Really hoping not to have to deal with you. I don't know what the hell that attack was, but Purity's working on you a lot better than Water was. Yeah, they, uh, purity works a lot better on those guys than uh, water does. And I'm not sure what that big... Oh, you know what? We can, ch we can check. Berserk. 
Greatly increased attack power in exchange for increased key consumption and key damage received. Oh, that's a, that explains because I was running out of key really quickly fighting him there. But it did seem to be killing him. I didn't say anything, but yeah, like, the rate at which I was losing key seemed a little weird, and, and I guess that was a status effect that that guy causes. Yep. Yep. Sure is. Yep. Alright, this might be the door. Oh, hot spring chamber. Never mind, it's an optional door for an optional room. Demon Horde, Kakuras, Raging Bull, Night Crow, Kusarigama. Be curious what that is. I was really, I really keep hoping that it's all, always hoping that it's going to turn out to be um, armor from the set. Um, it imbues poison. I'll, I'll use it for a while. Poison imbue weapons. I hadn't had that much luck with, but I wasn't finding them often either. So this is the thing that's tracked on the map screen, whether you've gotten all the hot springs in a level. So I don't always, I don't really wait for an opportunity where I really need that status effect. I just kind of use them when I find them. All right, never. But anyway, I thought, hey, you know, it's this has got to be the path to progress, right? Nope, it's just a completely optional thing to get a hot springs and a uh, little kitty to follow you. We got a nice kusari gama out of it as well. But the actual thing we got to do to advance the story is going to be this way. So let's let's get going. Now I'm going the wrong way, and I'll turn around here. I thought I saw some cool treasure chests, any demon zone that we might have forgotten about in the interim. So I hope. I might have, I might just have left them behind. They might have been in a different demon area. But this is the way to actually progress in the level, it would appear. And there is probably a Kadama shrine ahead, or it's a Kadama. Considering how far we're getting from Oh, interesting. I would think these guys, as a big old biological creature, would be fairly susceptible to poison status. Instead, I'm poisoned. That doesn't seem right. Oh, well, it's got a poison bubble. That might also explain why it doesn't give a crap about me poisoning it. insisted on coming up through the shallow water, but I figured that might lead to something. You know what? Screw this. Let's go back. There was a green marker on our map, which was probably a Kadama Shrine. Might have been a Kadama, but it seemed like it was likely a Kadama Shrine. No, it's a Kadama. Okay. It looks like that path is the way we're supposed to go, then. Well, I figured it was the way we were supposed to go, but I thought there might have been a shrine that we were supposed to hit to get re-upped on stuff that I was ignoring.
sun and moon hatches. Hatches of the sun. And we've got a divine fragment. That's something you need to, if you want to try to craft divine equipment, which is a thing you can do once you have even more ludicrous amounts of money than I currently have. And I have pretty ludicrous amounts of money. Let's throw down with the best of them. Let's grab this shrine. Oh, I thought you might have been a friend because I was seeing an orange icon there. Like, at some point, we're going to get an ally out here. Yeah, but the poison is working about as I expected. It seems like it really doesn't... Ow. Ow. Wow, we just got stomped. I don't think that... I think this guy's a sub-boss. No, he's the Sohaya. That's usually just a generic name for them. I think I just did a terrible job. No, he's a sub-boss. Because he's moving around. both slowed, but mine will wear off before his does. But he's trying really hard to get me with paralysis. That's his element. gets me with that, I'm in trouble. And he's getting it with me more often than I should be allowing to happen. This isn't going easily. Ow! Ow! Because my technique I use when using this that weapon is so... Just hitting the same move over and over. Like, I'm not always knowledgeable about all the other cool things it can do. And I'm probably best off just... Suckering him with this when he gets in. The AI has a bad time judging the range on this blow. It's tough to to sneak up on this blow, other than like a serpentine motion, which the AI doesn't usually do. Oh, he's so close to being dead. There he is. Demon Horde helmet, Young Blood Kuras. Moon Prayer, Kiyoki, Split Staff. Which I just got one of those fairly recently. Yeah, the poison, like, it doesn't. Because I got one before, like. If you use poison, like, as your. Um, I don't even remember what you call it. You can assign uh, skills from the. Yokai skill tree and you can apply an attribute to your weapon and you do that with um, poison you can get poison on enemies um, but the ones that just have poison just embedded seem to be terrible it looks like it's about six and one half dozen together here but 
I'm assuming we had to beat that guy because he was a mid-boss, marked on the map. So there must be something in that room that is important. So we'll go back in there and check in a minute. But um, I have to think about calling it a session. Or at least taking a break. So I guess... Oh, damn it. I mean to, I mean to aggro you. But I guess I'm glad we... We're close to a shrine. Oh, wow. I was not expecting one of you guys. I thought this would be a plot chest. I was already on backflip, so that's handy. be pretty frustrating to beat that mid-boss, then lose to, like, accidentally choose the wrong thing there and have to fight that guy and then lose. You... Oh, you jerk. I evaded! Fuck you, game! Because all sorts of cool loot in there that I need to get. I cannot be losing to this jerk. kind of followed me around. I thought I was gone. I thought he was gone. It's just like, nope. Okay. Young blood waste guy. Yeah, who cares? Damn it. First samurai helmet. Don't think I care about that. Little crow and quick draw. No idea if that is part of a set I care about. First samurai helmet is part of a set. And so is demon horde helmet. Yeah, but they threw some um, of those uh, little dual katana things at me here. A uh, little crow and quick draw. Nope, it is not a set. It gets purity. It might be worth saving, but I'll wait till I'm actually going through inventory. It's not something I need to lock. I know I need to lock down right away because it's super critical. But yeah, okay, so I beat that mid boss, and it doesn't seem to have done anything for us. But he certainly he doesn't come back, reinforcing that he was a mid-boss. Okay. Maybe this maybe there's a path over here that doesn't open up until you beat that guy. And uh, it's just we can't see it right now. That it was ever closed because it's so wide open to us, even though I can't figure out where the hell it is and where we're supposed to be going. Seriously, this this seemed to be the way that we're supposed to go. And, oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Not that big of a mystery, after all. Oh, great. <laughs> There's no way I could climb over this! I did a backwards evade roll, and I even have the... No, I didn't. I unequipped the thing that gives me a longer invulnerability. Alright. Don't know how far I'll get with this, because like I said, I, I'll probably need to call it a... The stones, the rolling stones. Somehow we gotta make our way back, way up there, because there was a little 
There was a uh, just an Amrita corpse that we wanted to grab, I think. Hi, hey, friend. Ow! Damn! Okay, I just kind of was asleep at the wheel there. Well, I mean, no, I got late. I, I was like, ah, I want to hurry up and kill this guy and then take an elixir. So I just started, before I even got up, I was just spamming the input for the most damaging, but also like the slowest to get off attack we had. And that turned out to have been a mistake. That enemy appeared to be an actual human. And maybe he turns into a yokai and I didn't even hit damage him enough for that to happen. But that was a human enemy and he just whooped our ass. Okay, I'm surprised that worked. I thought I was about to get hit with this throw for sure. I guess I knocked his key down and didn't even realize it. Yeah, it's you again. The same guy. Oh, he's got yokai key. He is a yokai. He really is a yokai. I just didn't damage him enough for him to even reveal it. That's how much I screwed up. He'll probably be easier now. Just to be more predictable. Speed He had really good sword some skill until he turned Yoka, and then he was like, ah, now, I, now I'm just... I got a lot of hit points and weird ranged attacks, but now I'm terrible at the swordsmanship part. I completely mistimed my releasing of the guard button. Pretty good. Yep. I guess they can say human stuff because it went pretty good. And then turn it to Yokai. Pretty good. But only like. Did I uh, find you in here? Are you the friendy? Friendo? Get back to the shrine there, buddy. It'll be safe there, I promise. Uh, if something happens to you. Well, actually, never mind. If something happens to you. I'm not going to do anything about it. But you'll be as safe there. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. These demons were not giving him any trouble. Oh. Oh, you spotted me. It's like I didn't think there was an enemy in there, but. Oh, I mean, if the, your lord is a Fujiwara of Oshu, you probably don't need to pray for his forgiveness when you just did something, you know, for him. Okay, this would appear to be our way back if we fall off of a path. So let's not bother exploring this way, and we'll assume we get a chance to explore later. Ah. Got confused about which of his attacks he was doing. I thought it was the one where he doesn't follow up again. This is the one guy who's beefy enough we might get him poisoned before we kill him with the amount of shots it takes to poison somebody with this weapon. Yep, just at the... Well, no. Actually, just at the end he was poisoned, so it isn't true. We didn't poison him before we killed him. It was a simultaneous deal. It's nice that he was in here saying some prayers, presumably. He may have been facing this way and you could sneak up on him, but I think he was just in there kind of staring outward, waiting for uh, anybody to come along that he could attack. Somewhere over here is... 
Oh no, did we make our... No, here we go. This is what I saw before. You can see it from... Will he show no mercy for his own brother? Lord Yoritomo is truly terrifying. Undertaker, don't you recognize your own brother? Um, I wasn't going to call it a video yet. I'm wondering if this is the end of the video over there. Not the video, but I mean the, the level. Because that was... That was Yoritomo. Or is it Yoritomo? Yoshitsune. Or whoever. I probably need to get over there and rescue him, actually. And then if we can lead him from there, if we can lead him back to a place of safety or a shrine, then we'll have him helping us out. And if not, this video will go a little long, and I might be finishing the mission. It didn't seem like that was the end. Of, like I thought maybe that's the end of the level. It's hard to tell. I don't think so, because it would have just triggered a cinematic as soon as we opened that door, you know? So I think maybe we go in here. The level's not yet over. Because if it is, I will be annoyed. That'll mean we have no opportunity to um, find any remaining Kadama. Yeah, we're just joining forces with him here. Steal the kill, haha. <laughs> you did well to make it here. I thank you. I was trying to do a bow, but Fujiwara would betray me. Was living as a fugitive not hardship enough? Hmm. Still, I suspect we're not just facing the Fujiwara. Yeah, there's also a bunch of the demons. Yokai suggest otherwise. Mm hmm Come, let us join Benke. I have no intention of dying just yet. Join Benke. He will oh, be the well, new lord. It seems that putting. What? Oh. All right. Well, now it seems like we can go in that direction, but we can also come back here and hit the shrine. I can call it a video. I can call it a session. And if I feel like off, if I feel like just grinding for levels, um. Using the uh, penitent, penitence stones, penance stones, where only the penitent man will pass, did seem to be a more effective way of doing it. Um, but yeah, I could just like run back and forth now that we've got him as an ally. Because having an ally around makes this game significantly easier. If nothing else, you have more more than just you for the enemies to concentrate on. But we'll uh, we'll go ahead and call it here. Maybe I'll off-screen this game. Maybe I won't. I, I'm trying to figure out something. I want to just uh, play around this evening with... And i got some riff tracks I want to watch. Um, so maybe I'll just goof around with this game for a while. And um, it really doesn't seem like the most efficient. Like, if I wanted to grind for levels, I would go to the higher difficulty and do mission like do the scroll missions or something i don't know but anyway this is going to be it for this video regardless of what i decide and when we come back next time we will have our new best friend whose name i keep getting wrong moritomo yoshimitsu yoshi this guy moramoto he's an important figure in japanese history i just can't remember his name <laughs> and um yeah he and i will be fighting our way out of this place to benkei uh, who probably just represents, like, when we find him, it means we've escaped the danger. I don't think we'll have two out. Well, maybe we will. We've had, um, we've had two allies helping us at once before on, in major missions in Neo, but only for short stretches when it was, like, you know, near the end of the game. But anyway, guys, yeah, we had that too. We had Mumio and, uh, William both helping us. So maybe we'll have a stretch where we've got both of them helping us. It's all things we'll figure out next time or in future videos. Bye-bye for now.